Y technique, which is um, which is a very old one, perhaps about 30 or 40 years old technique. Uh, and based on this, is again, a group uh, technique. So you actually get three or four people in a room and then you would uh, um, give them uh, the either the problem statement or the questionnaire. You would ask them to you either give the estimate. So, for example, your estimates are actually based on the remember the planning poker that actually is based on this uh, concept of uh, Delphi technique where you, um, where, where you actually give them a problem or ask, give them a feature, explain that, and then ask their expert opinion and they would come back. And then you go through the room in, in multiple loops till you get a consensus in terms of everybody or at least majority of the, uh, uh, of the either the decisions or the estimates or whatever that the opinions being expressed. So it's a very, um, um, very old and perhaps time-tested technique, the Delphi technique, which is used in a lot of other uh, um, approaches right now, like the planning poker that we talked about in the agile context for the Fibonacci estimates. Then there is a, a nominal group technique is uh, again, very um, one of the tried and tested approaches uh, where you actually get people, each SME is asked to perform a task. So basically here, with NGT, the nominal group technique, you would ask them to do a task. And while they're doing the task, then they would try and give you the description how they would go about doing the particular task, whether it is about drawing a CAD diagram or a CAM diagram or uh, coming up with a kind of a wireframe or uh, uh, coming up with a plan for something or giving an estimate, all of these would be. So they're trying to then come up with that. You would try and ask them questions. And then what happens is you would you would then have voting done between these different people. And that voting could be um, out of these four or five choices, who do you think has got a, which one do you think is a better one considering these, these uh, ideas, these challenges. So you would ask within, their, within the experts themselves and then they would without actually exp exposing the names or personal details. So essentially, you're voting for the best one amongst the experts. So they then would go through this and then the one with the highest one would actually go through the weightage. So basically this is the, again, a consensus is brought in, uh, but this is basically the consensus is based on the uh, voting in terms of the, um, you know, the, the, there are different parameters that you could come up with for the best uh, vote, or is it based on the weightage of something? So you could come up with that depending on the situation, but the fundamental, Aspect is again is is the is the consensus bring in and then the group behavior group dynamics involved but without engaging the group all of them in one go it's not about just throwing something in the air and then asking people to catch it it's basically you go to one person you actually try and engage them explain that uh, understand their opinions their views and then go to the next person do that so you all kind of exchange the good points and the bad points amongst these all these five experts and then come up with um, uh, you know, the one solution that the perhaps would come through after a few iterations, uh, a very powerful thing called engine.